We are in Fungare. And Hydra is here on an extensive refit. The objectives of the refit were to make it more user friendly for science and for the crew. But it was pretty evident once we got here that it was take a step back and look at what would be the more beneficial changes. The vessel's 50 years old, so we kind of rethought spaces. The key feature is the capability to have two submarines on board. We can conduct science from zero to a thousand metres. We also have a mapping capability up to a thousand metres. We've got a nice new wet lab area for the scientists. A dry lab that has been newly refurbished. We've also got a nice new tender called Sky that will do seabed mapping secondary to using it as a dive support vessel. We have had a lot of challenges, but it was never a negative. Everything we've done here is a huge positive. We had delays, but now looking back on it, it's been really useful. <laughs> We've made the most of that time by increasing the capability of the team. Make sure these are all tight. For Cthulhu, we started the rebuild journey two years ago. The subs, we've been to Florida, Spain. Now, finally, we'll cut the leash and let them free to go and uh, science the planet. Throughout the shipyard period, we've been very fortunate to keep all of the crew and I'm actually very proud of everyone. Everyone's pulled together, everyone's contributed. When you go around seeing the finished article, I think everyone should be pleased with the, the outcome. We have the latest in technology in these spaces. It's now getting all the systems up and running to say, right, okay, Hydra is now good to go. We're then going to make our way to the Solomons and that will be our first full-blown science mission. It's going to be huge. Everyone is very excited to get Hydra out there doing its purpose, which is conducting, uh, conducting science.